Hello friends, today what we are going to do is cleaning Nissan Altima 5th generation 2013 to 2018 model electric throttle control actuator or throttle body valve and uh, massive airflow sensor for that first remove the battery negative terminal and uh, remove the front air duct as well as the engine cleaner assembly and the engine room cover Remove the plastic retainer on the front case with trim removal tool. Remove the negative terminal of the battery and cover it is in a plastic to avoid short circuit. Now remove the front air duct to bolt using the 10 mm socket. Missing screws and bolt can be avoided if magnetic parts tray like this are used. Slowly remove the front air duct and keep it as air. Remove the three bolt of the engine room cover with 10 mm socket. Slowly lift the bottom clip on the right side of the engine room cover or use a flat screwdriver to pull it off slowly without breaking it. Now what you can see in electric throttle control actuator as well as air massive flow sensor. After slowly removing the connector of the air massive sensor and remove the air cleaner case assembly as follows. The 10 mm bolt under the cleaner assembly as well as the clip should be carefully removed and take it out. The air duct hose and resonator connected above to the throttle control actuator should also be slowly removed and taken. Now remove the throttle control electrical actuator connector just press it and lift. You can now see how much carbon has accumulated in the throttle body wall. Remove these two coolant hoses connected to the throttle body wall. Before removing cut off the flow with plastic hose pliers and gently pull the clip off. Remove all four bolt of the throttle body actuator with 8 mm socket. I was not able to video it live as I had a mobile camera in my left hand. Now slowly pull it up and you can see the carbon sticking to it. Put the throttle body is placed on a plastic tray for cleaning. Be very careful not fall on the ground or hit anywhere. 
mark the frame of the throttle body actuator and hose clamp with a marker so that you can understand the alignment and avoid the confusion. After losing the hose clamp with a flat screwdriver and slowly remove the hose from the wall. You can now clearly see how much amount of the carbon is stick to the throttle body wall. I use this uh, manual brand product to clean the throttle body wall and I will give the link in the description. Similarly, to clean the massive airflow sensor, I have used a product from the brand of uh, Licky Moly. After I heat the spray well for 5 times on the throttle body and let it soak for 5 minutes. After that, take a clean soft cotton towel and dry it clean like this. Do not touch your finger directly to the wall. Do not under any circumstances clean the throttle body valve with any cleaning product other than products designed for cleaning throttle body valves only. Back to put the hose on the correct alignment. Back to put the throttle body actuator on the same position and use the torque with 84 inch pound or 7 foot pound. Now back to connect throttle body electric connector. After reconnecting to the coolant hoses and remove the plastic hose pliers, don't forget to connect the hose clamp and clean the coolant on the area with a towel. Now remove the massive airflow sensor with a Philips star screwdriver. Okay uh, guys next clean the massive sensor thoroughly with sensor cleaner and then wait for it to dry for about 10 minutes. Do not touch on sensor sensitive area. After dry massive sensor back to connect on the reverse order. Air duct, hose and resonator just clean and back to connect as the reverse order. Back to connect massive airflow sensor, electric connector with a plastic retainer. So back to connect air cleaner case assembly, front air duct and engine room cover as reverse order. Now back to connect battery negative terminal.
start the car after replacing the throttle body valve or clean the throttle body needs to be relearned process i mean reprogrammed but the 2013 fifth generation of ultima does not need to be relearned i mean that depends on the model and manufacturer specification what i felt was that after i stepped on the accelerator the car started to rise again and after waiting for 5 minutes it returned to the normal rpm this is my first time cleaning the throttle body valve so i had to relearn process on it so i was uh, prepared that but the fifth generation of ultima does not have to do the same as the fourth generation of ultima or any other models I use this OBD2 scanner by VP brand to confirm that the engine reached normal RPM and I will provide the link in the description. Now let's come to reality. This is the fifth day after clean the throttle body valve. Before cleaning this throttle body valve and MAF sensor, I mean massive airflow sensor, I was getting only 9.1 or 9.3 km per liter of petrol. This is very bad. Last around 8-9 months like that and uh, I drive close to 130 km daily on the highway. So I can accurately track the changes in the car's fuel efficiency. When I got this car, the mileage was 120k km with around 10.6 and 7 km per liter. It was good figure. Now 260k km passed and after the clean the valve, I'm getting the same fuel efficiency before is very good. I did all the step for real end process but there is no reaction from the car then I realize uh, this car is not required if there are any mistakes on my part please uh, correct me after I hit full tank of 68 liter ultima capacity I have now managed to drive 702 km and 10.7 and uh, uh, 10.78 per liter it's very good figure for ultima 2.7 liter engine I hope this video is helpful for you Thank you for next time.